Hello and welcome back my friends, Baker is my name and Tekken 7 is the game. I'm here to show you guys how to punish Kuma and Panda, they're pretty much the same. Using Yoshimitsu, we're going to go over the launch punishable moves, the jab punishable moves, and just about anything that we can learn in between. So, let us begin. We're going to start off with their rage arts. Both of their rage arts are different in animation, but that is the only difference between the two. Both of them are launch punishable on block though. First up is 1 plus 2 3 times consecutively. The, this is a triple midstream, but it is launch punishable on block by Yoshimitsu. Next we have 4 plus 1 1 1. Another, I think that's a high mid mid stream. Yes, and it is negative 16 on block. Yoshimitsu can get it down forward too. Up next is forward 1 plus 2. Under normal circumstances, this move is negative 12 on block. And Yoshimitsu can get only a down forward 4. But in no sort stance, Yoshimitsu can flash this and get a combo off of it. Up next is 4, 3 plus 4, which is negative uh, 15 on block. Yoshimitsu can get a wall rising too. If a Kuma or a Panda player decides to want to do the 1 plus 2 after 4, 3 plus 4, this move is understandably, or should I say laughably, negative on block, allowing you to get just about anything that you feel like afterwards. You can even jump over them and even do a combo like that. Up next is a string down forward one two one two. It's negative, I believe, eleven on block maybe. Uh, Yoshimitsu can get a one one finish off of, but no sword stance flash will be the last hit. Up next is down forward two one, which is the bear's primary launcher. It is negative uh, 15 on block. You can get a down forward 2 or a hop knee from it. The string is down forward 3 2. It's a mid high string. You can duck it, or if you flash immediately after the mid, you can counter hit flash him. Up next, we have down 1 plus 2. This is just a little booty bounce from Akuma and Panda. It is launch punishable on block, though. You can get a uh, down for a 2 or a hop knee from it as well. This is down back 4, the bear snake edge. Absolutely launch punishable on block. You can even see about the crumbling. Up next is back 3 plus 4, uh, put in the form of a just frame. These little kicks are negative 15 on block as well. You can't get a launch from it. This is an actual back 3 plus 4, not put in the form of a just frame. Those double kicks, with, even though with the pushback it is negative 15, so you will have to use long reaching launchers to be able to punish this move properly. This move is up 1 plus 2, it's a jump in the low, I know the scumbaggery, I can feel it in my soul too. This move is negative 15 on block, you can also get a low carry combo off of it. This is 4, 4 plus 2, the same uh, launching mid that Heihachi has, despite its pushback, it is negative 15 on block. And last but not least on our launch punishable section, we have half circle forward 2 into 1, and half circle forward 2 into 2. Half circle forward 2 into 1 is negative 14 on the block, with half circle forward 2 into 2 being negative 15 on the block. Uh, the first one is mid-mid, and the other one is mid-low. I don't think Flash is a very reliable tool, but I was able to do it in this particular recording here. Up first on the jab punishable section, I have 2 1 2 and then 2 1 3. Uh, 2 1 2 is a mid and a 2 1 3 is mid mid low. Uh, the 2 1 2 mids are negative 14 and the mid mid low is negative 12 on block, but it can allow you to get a low berry punish. Up next, we have down back 1 2, a high mid, and it is negative 13 on block. Up 
Up next is back plus one. This is the Bears on the crushing mid. On block it is negative 13, allowing a down forward 1-4 punch. Up next is down back plus two. This is one of the Bears cheeky cheeky lows. It is negative 13 on the block, but your best option would be the low period. This wallop of the string is down back one plus two into a one plus two into two. If you are able to survive this massive barrage of moves, it is negative 13 on block. This string is back plus two into one into one plus two. All of this ends in the mid and it is negative 11 on block. Next, I got a two for four you. I have wall standing one one and wall standing one into two. Both of these strings are very easy to interrupt. Wall standing one plus, oh, I'm sorry, wall standing plus one into one is double high, and wall standing one into two is high mid, I believe, if I am not mistaken. Sorry, I was very wrong. It is in fact mid into mid. And up next is Wall Rising 2, which is a launching mid. Unfortunately, this move is negative 12 on block. Welcome to the Bears hunting stance. I will try my best to show you guys every move that happens in this stance. This is 1-2, a pair of cheeky lows that are negative 12 on block. Yoshimitsu can't get much. This is Hunting Stance 2, a much cheekier low. Luckily, this is negative 15 on block balls. Up next in the third move is 1 plus 2. It's a mid launcher. It is negative 14 on block. Unfortunately, Yoshimitsu cannot launch it. Hunting Stance 3 plus 4 is a power crushing mid. It is unbelievably safe on block. Forward, one plus two out of hunting stance is an unbreakable grab. That's a high. He literally grabs you by the mouth and slings you around. That is some savage shit. This move is hunting stance down forward one one. Mid high string. It is the high is safe on block. Down forward two out of hunting stance is another launching mid, but this move is negative uh, fifteen on block. Yoshimitsu can't get a down or two off of it, or a hot knee. Up next is down one plus two, which is just another mid. This is safe on block. Up next is back one plus two into one plus two. These are double lows. These are negative 15 on block. And the rest of his moves, he will revert to a sit in other stances. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the forward roll series. Forward, forward roll one is just a simple high. It is very safe on block. The forward roll two is a mid launcher that is negative 15 on block. Forward roll three is a sweeping low. It's negative 12 on block. However, the wall rising four that you can get from this can lead to a combo. Forward roll 4 is just a rolling mid which is safe on block. Forward roll 1 plus 2 is a rolling mid that is safe on block. And then forward roll 3 plus 4 just reverts him back to the previous previously seen hunting stance that you'll see. And to end this video, I do have both of the Bears 10 hit combos. You will have to low parry on the fourth hit of either variation of their 10 hit combo. And ladies and gentlemen, this will mark the end of my video. I appreciate everybody for watching. I do have more content coming up soon. 
please like the video if you like this video please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already or if you're new to my channel come on just do it and i and that'll that'll do me uh thank you guys for watching again and i will see you guys next time